local jails were used for two things. They were used to house inmates who were awaiting trial. And in addition to that, they were used for inmates with minor offenses, what were then called misdemeanors and, and basically the same thing today. And it was very clear that local governments had to pay for that. Only felony offenders, that is serious, offense, serious criminal offenders, were to be housed in the, in the uh, state prison system. Now what this decision did by the U.S. Supreme Court, it altered that and basically said felons, that is convicted felons, can be kept in county jails so long as the state pays the counties for keeping them. Now that changed the whole, the whole operation from, from what it had been historically. Uh, we had at that point in time only 3,000 state inmates. Uh, we had just two prisons and I think we had another small prison for women. So we'd gone up from 3,000 state inmates to 24,000 state inmates over that period of time. You know, it relates to the prison situation also, not just the jails. You know, the prisons have some of the same kind of problems, not the same kind of over overcrowdedness as you've got in the jails, but uh, the funding problems are there as well. And, uh, you know, we're not, <clears throat> uh, we've basically, I ch think, uh, changed our philosophy from rehabilitation to Corrections. I mean, I mean to uh, punishment. Basically, is what we've done. 